Hello, this is Jumpin' Jackalopes, and today we're going to tattoo <clears throat> a few rabbits, and we wanted to show you the proper procedure in which that needs to happen, um, and how we do it here at our rabbitry. We're going to tattoo a few of these guys today. <clears throat> there is a um, good reason for tattooing breeding stock, and um, uh, what we're going to be using today is the uh, Grand Champion from the bass equipment um, comes with a kit here uh, some ink we got some extra ink here box comes with a case this is the actual uh, instrumentation here that does it it's a clamp style you put your uh, your different pieces in there um, <clears throat> I, I can kinda go into how you, you you generally want to have a system um, and what you're going to be tattooing your rabbits. Um, and we've got a system written down here where you can see here uh, certain letters distinguish certain crosses. This is a meat and a rabbitry mainly. And so if you look at this here, this is JJN01. And what that tells me by looking at the rabbit is that's JJ, that's Jumpin' Jackalopes. The N stands for New Zealand. Um, that means a pure New Zealand. And then it's 01. So it's the first New Zealand that um, I've tattooed and stamped. Um, now you're going to want <coughs> to prepare. Uh, here we've got a carpeted area here to set them down on. It's got a border around it um, so that the rabbit can grip that. Um, here's a towel that we like to, to wrap the rabbits in. Um, make them feel a little bit more secure and comfortable. Um, here is some peroxide. We'll be cleaning the air before we uh, stamp. Um, this is the bowl of peroxide that we'll be using. You obviously don't want to dip or pour it in their ears. Um, and then here's a bowl uh, by itself that we'll be um, putting that, uh, the tattooing ink in, <clears throat> in the bowl. Um, you don't ever want to um, just dip with your brush into the tattoo uh, in, into the tattoo ink um, because you can just contaminate it uh, if a uh, you know um, rabbit has a disease or something's wrong with it or, or or sick or whatever else it's a good way to contaminate your ink source so um, it's always a good practice to put the little bit of ink in that you're going to be using for that particular rabbit um, first. Uh, then go ahead and clean his ear. We'll be doing this later on I'll, in the video. I'll show you a couple uh, different tattooings of some rabbits. Um, <clears throat> here, we, you can use wet wipes or Clorox wipes or whatever, but we just, today, we're going to use the um, paper, paper towels with the peroxide to clean the ear first. Um, so, for the most part, that's, uh, that's pretty much the area and the setup and what we'll be using um, you know, to, to stamp the, uh, uh, the rabbit. So, <clears throat> um, we'll get to that here in, uh, a, a flash. All right, guys, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and tattoo, uh, California dough. We're going to go ahead and clean her ear up here with some peroxide. Make sure it's all nice and clean. I like to do both sides since, uh, you know, we are using more of a puncture style, clamp style. It'll go all the way through the ear, okay? Um, so I like to make sure the whole ear is clean to sterile. Um, you want to make sure your ink is ready to go. I poured her a little bit of ink, 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 uh, a little bit of ink in here. Um, I don't like to uh, dip <coughs> the brush into your actual ink source because that will contaminate it. You want to kind of do every rabbit individually. In between rabbits, you want to clean your brush <coughs> and bowl and, and start fresh uh, just in case. Um, you, you want to always double check. I've got her numbers in here. Uh, she's going to be a JJC01. As for uh, jumping jackalopes, the C is for California, and the 01 is um, for for this particular rabbit here. Um, you always want to make sure you got a system and a number uh, numbering sequence so that you'll be able to look at the rabbit and know what it is, what breed, uh, <coughs> and 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 what what it is. So. Uh, that's the sequence that we have, and that's what we're going to be using here today. Um, with that, her ears clean, and we're going to be ready to go here. So I want to make sure that <clears throat> I've got my clamp in the right upright position here. 
uh, with the Grand Champ in your, that's always, uh, you know, with your tightening screw um, pointed up, upwards. <clears throat> now within the rabbit's ear here, <clears throat> you're, you always want to make sure that you don't hit the main vein that runs through the ear. Um, you probably can't pick it up in the video because it's running right through here. So you're going to want your tattoo to be right in this area here. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. They're going to squirm a little bit. It's pretty uh, It's pretty normal. Um, as long as you don't hit the main vein, they're not going to bleed too much, if at all. Uh, so we're, we should be good to go here. All right. Good job. Good job. You want to calm her down? It wasn't bad at all. Good job. You want to let her know she did good? It's a little bit more than having your ear pierced. <clears throat> I ain't going to lie to you. Um, uh, you know, some people say, oh, it's the same as having your ear pierced. Not exactly true. Um, you know, there's quite a number of needles in that clamp there. Um, and there's five digits. So um, it's, it's quite a bit more than just having your ear pierced, if you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> I, I definitely wouldn't say it's, um, you know, it's animal cruelty or anything like that. If you're in the rabbit business and you have as many rabbits as I do, I've got over 50 of them, uh, you've got to know which is which and document um, control is extremely important. you got to know um, which rabbits are kindled and when, uh, who was bred to who, <clears throat> and the only real way to do that, because a lot of the rabbits uh, look the same, um, is to tattoo them. Now, it's very important that the identification of the pedigree number <clears throat> goes in the left ear of the rabbit. The right ear of the rabbit is actually saved for the registration number. So, <clears throat> you always want to put your identification number or pedigree number in the left ear of the rabbit. If you come over here, you'll be able to see me working the ink into, into this uh, particular imprint here. <clears throat> I like to work it in nice and good. And the nice thing about the imprint versus the um, some of the other tattoo uh, styles like the, uh, you know, if you were to use a, a pen, a tattoo pen or something like that, um, those tend to, fit, to wear off after a while and you have to, you have to continually redo those where the imprint, um, as wicked as it looks, uh, it, it works. And it, you, you do it one time and you're good to go as long as you do it right. So you want to really work that ink into those, into those few holes there and make sure that uh, you get the job done right the first time. That way you get a good, nice, clear um, tattoo in the rabbit's ear, and there's not a problem. So you can see here that I've got her um, continually to work this through. If it goes through the other side, that's okay. Um, on this particular rabbit, it hasn't. Um, and she's being a very good girl. So you can see that it hasn't caused the rabbit a lot of stress uh, you know initially it's just a quick sharp pain and, and that's really about about all uh, younger rabbits are a little bit tougher to do their ears are smaller and uh, and they uh, here we go uh, the ears are smaller and they're a little bit squirmier and harder to hold on to definitely a, sec a two man job so this little girl here she's done so we're going to go ahead and get her back in her cage, give her a treat. Um, she's done a very good job. And, uh, and we're good to go. Thanks for watching.